Just give the videos are about you, me, and the challenges of everyday life. Join my colleagues and I as we talk about various topics. Hi, so I got this email from someone asking me, Hi, Candy and Miss Kiza team. I had an affair. I cheated on my husband with his younger brother. Should I tell? Benjamin, Catherine, my counselor and psychologist from Niskize. She cheated on her husband with, I, I mean, uh, had an affair with his, his younger brother. Should she tell him? I tell her husband? No. Why? How can you tell? Can you what? <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, she's struggling with guilt because she had an affair. She slept with her, her husband's brother and the guilt is killing her. They're having to meet in family functions. He's still holding that sexual relationship against her and telling her if you uh if, if you don't continue sleeping with me i'm gonna tell my brother okay and she feels the only way to get out of it is to just tell her brother and he loses the power he has over her that's suicidal tell her husband that's her. suicidal there are some things if you disclose them you might as well have committed let me tell you so. for me what i think is the fact that she's guilty about it i don't know i can only imagine this is not a serial cheater, so to speak. Mm -hmm. There are people who cheat because they wanted to or they are falling into that habit. Other people, they just slipped and fell once in a lifetime. We are not justifying cheating, but we are saying not everybody who has an affair is a wicked person or a family breaker or something. She's trying to get, and she feels guilty. For me, this is just a human, it was human. She felt because of, I imagine the marriage maybe was in a difficult place, and this other brother was more of a comforter. She was uh, conf confiding in him, and the emotional bond developed and took advantage of that. They found them themselves, maybe, you know, uh, but for me, she should talk to the right person. Okay. Catherine, you asked what should she tell? I'm so just you... wondering precisely what should she tell? Uh -huh. Does she want to tell her husband that she slept with a brother? How will that affect this relationship? How will this affect this man? But she's guilty, Catherine. What is she supposed to do with her guilt? If she's guilty, let her look for a friend. Let her look for a therapist who she can tell. Because there are certain things that you do not want to tell your spouse because they're not important. Mm -hmm. I think she should are talk... Are you saying... Sorry, Catherine. Are you saying the affair is not important? The affair that she had with her brother? Yes, her brother-in-law. What I mean is, what happened was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Nobody should have an affair yes. with anybody, mm -hmm. not just the brother, with anybody. So it was very unfortunate. But if she's going to save her marriage, then there are certain things she shouldn't tell her husband because this will affect their relationship seriously because this man is going to feel really cheated and i think it's very selfish of this woman to go and put the burden of her guilt to her husband mm -hmm. let her tell her girlfriend let her tell a therapist there are certain things that you should never tell your spouse because that is going to bring such a deep wedge in that relationship let me go back to you benjamin let's assume she told him how do you think he would react? Somebody a typical would man. Somebody what do you... would die. <laughs> Why? And who will I, die? A younger brother. My younger brother slept with my wife. I think uh, I will realize after I have done something <laughs> drastic. So for me, although we are not so, we're not saying all men are, are the same, but I think for majority of men, their ego will be so bruised. First of all, I'll be angry at the brother. Next, I'll be angry at you. Although you came and told me in good faith. So I think um, it's, it's, it's okay to be genuine. I think she's coming from a genuine place. I, do, I want to confess. I want to change. Take your genuineness and add wisdom to it. <laughs> <laughs> now, go confess to the right person and resolve that. As long as you are We have heard uh, people tell us in therapy things that they, they they would never tell their spouses. There's a guy who told me he was struggling with masturbation. Uh, then he was asking me, can I tell my wife? Said, okay, if you are prepared to fight for the next seven years about that. Yeah. Because the way he described the wife, I knew she couldn't handle it. Some things only a man could understand them from that angle. And me as a man, I could understand how he would struggle with masturbation and still love the wife. The wife would think you replaced me with those women in Absolutely. the pictures. Absolutely, that's how we feel. <laughs> so, that's how we feel. That's how this man, w w you need to measure the ability of your husband to handle. So for me, the best thing at this point is look for a place to a right person, a safe place, therapy, a good friend. Process it, close that chapter and carry on with your life. What does she do about the brother? The brother-in-law is telling her, if I don't continue eating the cookie, 
I'm going to tell my brother and I'll tell him you're the one who came after me. How will the brother know that he slept with him? She can deny it. She can deny it. So Catherine, you're saying take it to the grave. Deny it. Deny, deny it. <laughs> yeah, because your brother is trying to spoil this relationship. He's trying to spoil your marriage. What is he going to gain by telling my husband about the affair? He doesn't gain. He's just wanting to ensure that uh, the marriage breaks. And because this woman has decided, I want to end this, it probably happened because of something that had happened in her life and she's realizing there are my mistakes and I want to get over them. And so what she needs to do is to tell this brother that whether she tells the brother or not, she will deny it. Yes. Okay. Final thoughts, Benjamin, as we wind this up? It's also a trap. This brother can't tell his older brother that I slept with your wife. He's just threatening. That would be actually just suicidal. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't believe it if my younger brother texts, hey, I slept with your wife. I wouldn't you believe wouldn't it. believe it? No. <laughs> you know, unless I suspect my wife and all that, eh? it's, it's him I would think he's manipulating or something. So for me, that we're not saying keep all secrets to yourself. Secrets can really eat you from inside. Yeah. We are saying look for the right people to process some things with. Disclose to your spouse only what is necessary and what you know they can handle lest they begin to suspect you and they develop insecurities and the relationship never normalizes after that. All right. Something else is that everyone has secrets. Everyone has secrets, but we don't always have to tell everything. Let's look for the right people to talk to, to, talk to about some of the things that have happened in our lives. Mm -hmm. And always look for what is beneficial, what is for the better good, for the greater good mm -hmm. of this marriage. Absolutely. There you have it. That's what we think. What do you think? If someone cheats on their spouse, their partner, their girlfriend or boyfriend, do you think they should tell? Are there benefits to telling? Let us know what you think. Write to us, inbox us, DM us, share this video and let us know. Good night and God bless you.